Hello, this is Eddie from AppSheet, and today I'm going to show you how to create your own personal portfolio page. To get started, head over to My Apps and find an app that you would like to utilize in your portfolio. And go ahead and make a copy of this app. And from here, the first thing we'll want to do is anonymize our data. So go ahead and head over to your data. This is going to be a copied table, and we're going to view source. In this case, all the data is safe for public consumption, but if you had private data, you'd want to replace that with generic data. One thing you can do is head over to solutions.appsheet.com backslash sample hyphen data hyphen sets, and you can copy a number of data sets for common use cases. So once you finish anonymizing your data, head over to File, Publish to the Web, and go ahead and publish. This ensures that our data can later be read on our sample app page. From here, we'll want to head over to Info, Properties, and we'll want to make sure that we have a number of these fields filled out. For now, I'm just going to use these generic descriptions. And in our app documentation, we'll want to do the same for this is the purpose section, this is the design details. We'll save this. Now we'll jump over to manage. We'll run our deployment check. Move to deployed state. Now we'll head over to the author tab teamwork, and we will make this a public sample. And the easiest way to get to our portfolio would be to go to My Account, the Collab tab, and View My App Portfolio. And here you can see that we have the App Creator's view of the portfolio page, which allows us to copy, delete, preview, share our apps. And we can also see this from the perspective of an outside visitor, in which case they can simply see the app in action. And here is where the short description would be, the purpose section, and the design details. Here in data, you can see that we have our spreadsheet published, and here we have our functional app. One thing to keep in mind is that because this is a sample, you will not actually be able to use active forms on here because it's meant to be generic for each and every person who visits. And there you have it. That is how you create a personal portfolio page and add a sample app into it.